Hey, what is up guys? And here with another YouTube video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the color of anything in Photoshop. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to open your Photoshop, right? Okay, so we have our Photoshop open, but we don't need it just yet, so you can go ahead and minimize that. You want to open up your web browser, whatever whatever picture, I'm just going to use this for this example, but I'm going to get a picture off Google Images, if you want to change the color, this is just to change the color of anything, but for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to look up a car, let's just say a, I'll say a Nissan 370Z. Nissan 370Z, since this is a pretty nice looking car, I like them. Um, go ahead and let this load, and get a pretty good, pretty good picture. Um, let's see here. I think I'm gonna get this blue one. Or, I mean, that's, this white one, my bad. Fiddle, rent, yeah. Right, we can do this one. Okay, so I'm gonna save this image as. Save it into my pictures, I guess. That'll download. Okay, now we wanna open back up our Photoshop. Click file, click open, you know, the usual. Okay, so we've opened up. This is our picture. Say this is any picture you want that you wanna change the color of, right? Okay. So now we want to get the quick selection tool, which is over here in the top or top left corner on this little toolbar here. And you want to make sure it's on the quick selection and not the magic wand. You want it on the quick selection. And you want to select all the parts you want to change. So if I want to change all the white part, I'm just going to go ahead and select all the white part here. It's a really helpful tool you can use to... Um, we don't want this part here. We might want it actually. We don't want the. Let me zoom in a little bit here on this side. We're gonna get the colors really nice in here. Um. Yeah. Okay. So if I just, I just want this little part in here. Looks like it's gonna get that little part in. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect just for the this video, but we don't want that there. Okay. Close enough. I'm not going too in detail on this. We do need to not select the entire ground. For sure. Um, now we can select the back side over here. Um, we don't want to get the logo. Let's go ahead and. Well, that wasn't perfect, but you get the general idea. Let's get this little part back here, not the ground again. It's not perfect. It, it like cl it clings to like the edges of stuff. So we'll just go clip it with that. Um, let's select up this white bar part here, and that little part here. Okay, so we pretty much got it selected, except for this little part right here. Okay, pretty much got it selected. Now you want to, um, I'm going to forget about this little strip that take forever. Um, but, and this little handle here, we want the handle to be silver because that looks cool. Okay, so uh, we pretty much got it now. Now you want to, uh, one more part. That has to be perfect. Okay, so we're going to get our little, not that car, we just want this car. Okay, now you want to press Control J. And what it will do, it will make a layer down here in the bottom left or bottom right corner right here. Say layer 1. You want to double click on that. It will pop up the layer style box, okay? Now you want to scroll down to color overlay. And you want to, um, you want to put it to hue and change the hue color. Did I do this right? Am I not? Hold up. Oh, I'm not normal. Okay, so now we got a hue. No, not hue. Which one is it? Or my bad. Darken, maybe? There we go. Darken. Yeah, you go to darken. So, you want to select on your darken part. It's not, see, it's not exactly perfect on this part. Probably just for the lighting, but on the side where there's a good reflection and it's shiny and stuff is where it stands out the best because it, like, keeps the reflection and everything. It just changes the, the main part along here. Um, but you can change the opacity so it doesn't look too... See, that looks a lot better. Yeah, put the opacity... I'll bring the opacity up to there. See, this is my favorite color. See how much better that looks? It looks so much better. Click OK. So basically, and then you can change any color. So let's go over that one more time. You want to click on your, you want to do Control J once you have the layer selected. It'll make up a new layer. You want to click on Color Overlay. Choose your color right through here. And you want to choose the Blend Mode to be Darken. And then the opacity, you can fool around with that. But uh, it looks like it looks the best around 42. Because it keeps the reflection and keeps all that. Of course, there's little blemishes like that right there and mess ups like right there, but it pretty much gets it almost all the way done. Um, but uh, yeah, that's basically it. This for this video, it's just a short tip on how you can change the color and anything. You can literally change the color of anything you wanted to with this uh, Photoshop technique. Without it, I mean, it's better than having to like get the paintbrush out like this and like brushing or whatever. It doesn't look as it, it blends a lot better. 
But um, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you're a person that uses Photoshop a lot, um, I hope this video helped you out a lot and it taught you a new tip on how you can mess around with Photoshop. But uh, if you like this video and helped you out and changing colors of stuff, be sure to leave a thumbs up and share this with your friends if they work on Photoshop too. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.